oh my god like i didn't know that like queer asian people existed mm -hmm. let alone like someone who was living so out and proud and and like loud you know loudly you know like queer and and um that was really um transformative for me I mean, for me, it really is Margaret Cho. Yes. Uh, that, I mean, Margaret really like changed my life like several times. Like her f original show, All American Girl, was like the first time as an Asian American that I saw myself and felt really represented. And then when I was later on in high school, seeing her comedy specials, like the Notorious CHO, like all of it, like really like sort of shifted for me. Like, oh my God, like I didn't know that like queer Asian people existed, mm -hmm. let alone like someone who was living so out and proud and and like loud, you know, loudly, you know, like queer. And and um, that was really um, transformative for me, for sure. Yeah, and Margaret Cho's sets are amazing. Yeah. Way. Her kind of, I live for her. Um, I would say Laverne Cox for me. I mean, she's my sister, but also like just knowing her before everything happened and seeing how she's coming to herself as a whole and seeing her on the Time Magazine for the first time, I felt like that was the true um, kind of like precipice for representation of just trans women in general and just trans women of co color specifically. I hadn't seen a lot of trans women at all, a trans women of color or trans women who are not of color at all in the time where I was born. So when I was like 19 years old and seeing Laverne Cox on the Times Magazine, I was just like, oh my God, this is insane. Like, I can't believe that there's a woman who's really out here doing her thing. Well, I'm gonna do it too. If she's able to do it, I'm gonna do it too. So I think like, that's the kind of inspiration that I, I found.